So I thought I'd do a video this week on, on chokes or strangle holds. Now we did a video a little bit like this, but I thought I'd revisit it again. Why do people do chokes? It's probably because they can't fight. The majority of people that try and choke you out are people that have got no fighting skill at all, which means there's a good chance this is probably what would happen to you if you were in a fight. Oh, apart from the jujitsu ground martial arts boys, they do chokes all the time. And yes, you can fight. So don't be commenting about that. All right, jujitsu boys, sorry, I forgot about you. So we're gonna go through it in my slow motion. I noticed Matt, in the comments of one of my last videos said, hey man, you talk so slow. I come from the 70s, okay, where we all talk slow in those days. That was just another way of being cool. Although Aikido is based on making sure that you don't get into that position in the first place, all you guys know that we don't run on that basis in Aikido flow. <laughs> Hang on a second, why do I sound like Azu? Possibility that you might miss something misjudge something and you will end up in some type of chokehold. It's good to know what to do if you're in that situation. Slow motion, Jason. Okay, so there are many, many chokeholds, but this is a good place to start. Now, have a look at my chin, straight down, pushed right in and protecting my neck. Now, now the reason for that is that if I allow my neck to be exposed, then he will choke me out in about four or five seconds. So I need to protect that neck. That's the reason that I drop my chin straight down. Now, check out how I'm spinning myself. I'm, I'm, I, I'm almost on the same spot and I'm actually spinning and rotating myself around. Now that's the second key element here. Have a look at where my right hand is holding on to his hand. Can you see it's right on the blade of his hand? That allows me to have a leverage, a point of leverage that I can rotate and twist him round. And of course you can see that because as I'm turning around, he's turning around. So we get into what we call a sankyo, which is a, almost a, a uh, lock, like an arm lock. So let's have a look at it all in motion. Chin goes down, hand on the blade of Azu's hand, top hand on his elbow. So I'm. I've got a rotation point. As I'm rotating, look, I'm actually spinning. I'm spinning around and there's absolutely nothing Azu can do to stop me because I've spun out from underneath him and I'm also spinning while I have his hand in a lock. Rotate round, hand on elbow, hand on the blade of his hand. Look, you can see him screaming, he's in pain. That's what I like to see. As I'm moving, he's actually rotating round. Because I'm spinning, I'm rotating my heel because I'm preparing myself for that spin and I keep on turning round, keep on spinning. Okay, so let's look at a couple of variations here. So, okay, so I'm unlucky enough to get caught underneath there. Once again, okay, so he's holding my head, but look, my hands are free. That gives me the opportunity to be hitting him in his nuts or hitting him in his thigh. The second scenario, look, look, he's holding onto my head, but look, what the hell? Automatically, he's off posture and he's gonna try to protect himself as he falls. You just gotta make sure that he doesn't pull you down when he's dropping down. Another lock, or this is an uncomfortable one. You're completely around the other way, but you know what? Once again, right in his nuts. Trust me, he will let go of your head quickly. I mean, obviously there are hundreds of different variations where this could fall down, but I would encourage you to experiment with these things and see the randomness of, of what could happen. And as we've said so many times on this channel, start to pressure test 
a little bit what you're doing. I have noticed that there's a, a different approach to Aikido now on YouTube, which is, uh, which is good. Um, I hope that we had something to do with that. Remember, no point in training unless you're enjoying yourself. And I'll see you back on Aikido Flow on the next video.